Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Diabetic Ketoacidosis, DKA. Introduction. Diabetic ketoacidosis is a complication of diabetes. It happens when the body makes high levels of ketones. Ketones are a chemical substance created when the body burns fat instead of glucose for energy. Diabetic ketoacidosis is serious. If you have diabetes, learn the symptoms of diabetic ketoacidosis and when you should seek emergency care. This program explains diabetic ketoacidosis. It covers the symptoms and causes of ketoacidosis. It also talks about diagnosis, treatment, and prevention. Diabetic ketoacidosis. Diabetic ketoacidosis is also known as DKA. It can happen when the body is unable to use glucose as a source of energy because it cannot enter the cells. Insulin lets glucose or sugar into the body's cells. Glucose is the main source of energy for the cells. If the body does not have enough insulin, glucose cannot get into the cells. This means the body cannot use glucose for energy. If the body cannot use glucose for energy, it uses fat. When fat is used for energy, ketones are released into the blood. Some of the ketones exit the body through the urine, but high levels of ketones cause the blood to become too acidic. This can poison the body. When levels get too high, a person can develop DKA. DKA can lead to serious problems. If it is not treated, it can lead to coma or even death. While DKA is a serious complication of diabetes, it is preventable. It can happen in people with either type 1 or type 2 diabetes, but it is more common in people with type 1. Causes Diabetic ketoacidosis is caused by the body not having enough insulin or not being able to use insulin correctly. This can happen for many reasons. DKA may happen if a person with diabetes does not take enough insulin or misses one or more doses. If you have diabetes, make sure you understand how to manage the condition. Ask your healthcare provider how often you should take insulin. DKA may also happen if a person with diabetes becomes dehydrated, has a severe infection or other illness, misses meals. Other possible causes of DKA include alcohol or drug abuse, an injury, emotional distress, heart attack, high fever, stress, surgery. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute. www.patient-education.com over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Symptoms Symptoms of diabetic ketoacidosis usually happen over the course of a few hours. In some cases, symptoms of DKA may be the first sign of diabetes. Common early symptoms of DKA are a dry mouth, extreme tiredness, frequent urination, thirstiness, Later symptoms of DKA include blurred vision, confusion, dry or flushed skin, fruity breath odor, rapid deep breathing, unconsciousness. DKA can also cause abdominal pain, loss of appetite, nausea, or vomiting. If vomiting happens, symptoms of DKA may get worse quickly. Other signs of DKA can be detected with home blood and urine tests, including high blood sugar, high ketone levels in the urine. Diagnosis You may be able to do home blood and urine tests to check for high blood sugar and high ketone levels in the urine. Contact your healthcare provider right away if your urine tests show high levels of ketones, whether or not your blood sugar level is high. Also contact your healthcare provider if you have vomited more than twice in four hours and you have a high level of ketones in your urine.
If you are unable to do home tests, contact your health care provider right away if you have the symptoms of DKA. Your health care provider will ask you about your symptoms. A physical exam will be performed. Various blood tests will be done to help diagnose DKA. These tests measure blood acidity, blood sugar level, ketone level. Other tests that may be done include blood electrolyte tests, chest x-ray, EKG, urinalysis. These tests can find underlying health problems that may have caused DKA. The tests can also check for complications. Blood electrolyte tests can show if a person has an imbalance of electrolytes. An imbalance can be present with a wide variety of illnesses. A chest x-ray may be done if your health care provider thinks you may have an underlying health condition that affects the lungs or heart, such as pneumonia. EKG stands for electrocardiogram. It is a test that charts the electrical activity of the heart. A urinalysis can check a sample of urine for a variety of problems, including a urinary tract infection, kidney disease, liver disease. Treatment DKA is often treated with a stay in the hospital. In severe cases, you may need to stay in the intensive care unit. It can take several days for blood sugar and ketone levels to return to normal. Treatment for DKA usually involves fluids electrolyte replacement, insulin therapy. Fluids are given to help rehydrate the body. They replace the fluids lost through frequent urination. They also help lower high blood sugar levels. Fluids may be given orally or through a vein. Fluids given through a vein or intravenously are called IV fluids. Electrolytes may be given through a vein. This helps keep the heart, muscles, and nerve cells working normally. Insulin therapy is done to reverse the process that causes DKA. Often, insulin therapy is also given through a vein. It is continued until the blood is no longer acidic. Then, regular insulin treatment can be resumed. Other treatments may be needed for what caused DKA. For example, if a bacterial infection caused DKA, then antibiotics may be given. If DKA happened because you had a heart attack, you may need further treatment for your heart. Prevention DKA can be prevented by closely following your diabetes management plan. Take your medicines as directed. Follow any diet restrictions and stay physically active. Check and record your blood sugar levels regularly. You may need to check your levels three to four times every day. If you are sick or stressed, you may need to check your levels more often. Make sure you understand how to adjust your insulin dosage. Your insulin dosage may need to be adjusted depending on your blood sugar level. Your levels can change depending on how active you are, what you eat, whether you are ill or stressed. If you are ill or stressed, check your urine for high ketone levels with an at-home test kit. If your ketone levels are high, contact your health care provider right away. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary Diabetic ketoacidosis is a complication of diabetes. It happens when the body makes high levels of ketones. Ketones are a chemical substance created when the body burns fat instead of glucose for energy. DKA may happen if a person with diabetes becomes dehydrated, does not take enough insulin, has a severe infection or other illness, misses meals, you may be able to do home blood and urine tests to check for high blood sugar and high ketone levels in the urine. If you are unable to do home tests, contact your health care provider right away if you have the symptoms of DKA. Treatment for DKA usually involves fluids, electrolyte replacement, insulin therapy. Other treatment may be needed for what caused DKA. For example, if a bacterial infection caused DKA, then antibiotics may be given. Diabetic ketoacidosis is serious. If you have diabetes, learn the symptoms of diabetic ketoacidosis and when you should seek emergency care. Thank you for using Explain.